Your first step is to come over to this website right here and you can see a couple of questions that are being asked by people like you right here on this particular website. So what I'm going to simply do is to copy up any of these particular questions right now. And the second step is to come over to this particular website and on here you can actually create content from the questions that people are already asking. And the third step is to copy this content that you already have right here and come over inside those particular websites and paste it. Now there are going to be three simple websites you actually need and these three websites are going to make you over $1,000 for you yourself every single month from affiliate marketing now if you've actually been struggling with affiliate marketing because you don't know how to get traffic and to sell out your product then this particular solution is one that will actually help you to start scaling with your affiliate marketing business hi guys it's frankie Mano here and in this video today i'm going to show you this three step process that would help you to use ai to generate huge traffic and make more sales via affiliate marketing now i've actually heard a couple of people who actually tell me that they're struggling with affiliate marketing and they don't know how to actually get traffic and sell out their product but then this is a particular method that really works and would help you to start achieving success with any product you're selling out in your affiliate marketing business. And if you're just hearing about affiliate marketing for the very first time, then it's good to know that affiliate marketing is simply where you're able to sell other people's products and you're making commissions from each of the sale on those products that you already have. Now, what you want to simply do is to go over to an affiliate marketplace or an affiliate platform where they already have series of products. You sign up and you're picking up products that you actually want to sell from there. Now, on selling this particular product on each of the sale you're making, you are going to be getting a commission from each of the sale. And this commission can actually range from $10 to over $100 for yourself on a daily basis. But then it all depends on the particular method they actually get to follow and how your process is for you. Now, for this particular walkthrough, what you want to simply do first is to come over to this particular website called sales.co. And here on sales.co, this is a simple affiliate marketing platform platform that allows you to sell as an athlete and get your commissions instantly from inside of here. Now coming over here, you can easily go ahead and register an account for yourself. But then I really have an account, so I'm going to log into my account right here. So coming over here on my dashboard, you can see I already have a balance of $1,700. Now once you're logged in here into my account, you can actually see that I personally have a balance of $1,700 actually made inside this particular website in the past few weeks. And what you want to simply do right here is to go over to the marketplace. And here in the marketplace, you're going to see a couple of products that are actually available right here for you to start selling. Now let's take for example, you are seeing this particular product right here, the Upwork Mastermind program. And this is a freelancing product where you are going to be getting 50% of the commissions on every of the $25 sale that you're making. Now, what this basically means is that you sell this particular product for $25, you get 50% commission. And if you are to convert $25 to Nigerian Naira, let's say you're selling to Nigerians, then this is about 20,000 Naira. Now, this basically means that with every $25 you sell, you are going to be making about $12.25, right? Now, once you actually have figured out how much you're going to be making for yourself, what you want to simply do is to click on promote. And on clicking on promote right here, you actually get your affiliate link for this particular product. Now, on here, you want to copy up your affiliate link right in here. And once you copy up this affiliate link, you actually want to go over to, you know, this website called cuteurl.co. And on here, all, you, all we want to simply do is to just shorten our URL. So you're going to come in here, paste your URL right here. And you just want to give it a back name. So you can just give it any name at the back for, you know, uh, what you want, simply. So you want to shorten URL. And this URL has been shortened right here. And you're going to copy this link. Now, copying up this link, you're going to paste it inside of, you know, a sheet. Okay? Because we're going to come back to this link right here. Now, I'm going to open it up right here in a new, you know, uh, window. And on opening it up, you can basically just read through this particular sales page right here. And you know what your product is all about. So this particular product is all about Upwork and freelancing on Upwork. Now, step two is to go over to this website we call Answer the Public, right? AnswerThePublic.com. Now, this particular website is a website that helps you to figure out questions that people are asking about a product, about a niche, about a market, right? And this particular product right here is very important for any online marketer to have because it helps you to discover what your target audience are looking for and you're able to create content that will actually help them to start taking action. Yes, and this particular website is going to really be the hack we're going to be using in order to follow up with this particular process. Now, coming over here, 
we want to go ahead and put in the keyword now up basically is the keyword of what we're going to be selling we had already checked about our product and we understand what our product is going to be about right and once you basically put in your keyword right inside of here you want to select okay nigeria english for me i can actually just select global or just use the us because most times we actually you know are targeting most people from the us or they have more data on there than in your own location so i'm going to click on search right now you can basically see that the website is already generating me series of questions propositions comparison alphabeticals and related you know uh, content around the particular keyword i put in upwork so let us hold on until it's done now yes it is done already and coming down here you can basically see there are a couple of questions that are all around this particular key phrase so you can see here it says are uh, upwork jobs legit are uh, upwork profiles public how upwork works how upwork payment works how Upwork Connect work, and you know, series of questions that are inside of here. Now, these particular questions right here are questions that your target audience are asking. Maybe someone is just looking at starting up with Upwork, or someone has started and is looking for how to receive his payment, or you have actually received your payments once or twice, and you're looking for how to scale on the Upwork space. Okay. Now, these are the people that you are actually looking at targeting, and we want to be creating content for them. Now, not every question you actually want to. Now, not every question you actually see here. Now, you shouldn't go ahead and try to answer every question you basically see here. The major thing is figuring out the most important questions that you know that will really get your target audience. And you can basically put other questions inside of that particular content you're going to be creating. All right? So, there's a way the Google algorithm works when it comes to search. When you search up a particular key phrase and there is a, a related answer inside of that particular content, Google will still show up that particular you know, article for you to read. So, you don't have to actually use that particular you know key phrase as the title you can just add it up inside of your content okay so coming over here i'm going to pick up the best of you know uh the questions that are asked inside of here so let's see this one it says here which is better upwork or fiverr for freelancers now we're going to pick this one right here and when you do a search on this particular question you can see that there are a couple of articles that are up here that are already you know answering this particular question now it shows that this particular question is very relevant and people are asking the particular questions now what you want to simply do is to one create content around this particular question and answer it and two you actually want to you know uh, get to link people over to the product you're selling on upwork and three you want to publish your content in a space where you can actually get to rank on google as quick as possible and also you're going to be getting good traffic now the next step right here is creating our content and in order to do that we want to come over to chat gpt and chat gpt is going to help us to create this particular content that we're looking at here so we want to come over in here and we actually put in a question and we say write me a 1000 word blog article answering this question now, when you're actually using ChatGPT, one of the things you're actually focused on is the prompt. Now, the prompt basically is what you're going to be feeding this particular AI tool in order to get a feedback. Now, if you're able to feed good prompt, you're going to be getting good feedback. If you actually also feed a prompt that is not so good, you're also going to be getting a not so good feedback for yourself. So, the determinant here depends on the prompt, and the prompt really matters a lot to the response you get and the kind of replies that you're going to be seeing. So, I actually have this inside of here right now, and all I want to simply do is to go ahead and just ask now you can see we've asked this particular question right now and ChatGPT is really giving us a couple of content around this particular you know question now it's telling us the pros and cons of upwork and you can see everything inside of here now for fiverr it's already written about fiverr as well and then you can also see the pros and cons what i'm simply going to do is to copy this particular article right now and I am not just going to go ahead and publish this particular article on the next website. I'm simply going to first go ahead and spin this particular article. Yes, this is an AI written article. And to be honest, most search engines shy from AI written articles. They shy away from that because they feel like it's AI generated 
and you are not going to really give you know your personal input or there is really no much work done in order to help people that are really asking this question so your content might not really rank at all so what we want to simply do is to come over to the website called quillbot.com and once i'm in here i'm going to paste this particular content and you can see i can choose the modes of the content i'm expecting so i can say formal academic simple creative expand shorten or custom so i've clicked on creative right here and it's already paraphrasing and you can see that it's already you know editing a couple of contents right here okay so let's see uh from the introduction the rise of freelancing markets in the era has made it easier for people and companies to hire skill workers you can see the basic difference from this side and this other side now what i'm simply going to do right now is to copy up this particular content and once I copy this particular content right in here, now the third website right here is medium.com. Now, Medium is an open blog website where anybody, any content creator can actually go ahead and, you know, upload their content right in here. And they actually get a couple of traffic, not just traffic, but then they can also get paid. Now, coming over here, you want to go ahead and click on write after you've created your account instead of here. And you can see in order to publish the article, you can actually put your article title and then put the story. So I'm going to come back to QBot and what I want to first do is to copy this particular title. So I'm going to copy this title. I don't need it changed and I'm going to come over here to Medium and paste this particular title. And for the story, I'm going to copy the part that QBot has already paraphrased for me. Okay. So this is what I'm going to copy in right here. So I'm going to copy all of this. Awesome. So Control C, come over here to Medium and then paste. Okay. So I'm going to paste this right here and I am going to edit this particular content. So when editing, what I would love to do first is kind of add a couple of paragraphs here and there to this content to make sure that this particular content, you know, has paragraphs. And at the same time, I can actually broaden up content on the line. It's where I actually need to underline, you know, just to make sure that this, you know, uh, it gives it more vibe of, you know, a well, you know, uh, written article and some that is well edited as well. And even instead of here, I can actually add images. In order to add images, I'll go over to sites like pixabay.com. You can see a couple of free images right in here. And you can download a couple of images and you can publish it right here. So let's say, oh, we have this particular image. And once this is downloaded, I can proceed and then put it inside of this space in my Medium article. In my Medium article, let's put it in. You can see I've added this image. You know, people actually, you know, love to see a couple of articles as well as, you know, uh, the text when they are reading. So you can also bolden this up. Let people know it's boldened already. And uh, just f quickly format this whole content. Now, this is exactly what I'm going to do all through this particular space. Now, what I'm going to do next is to come over and get my copied, you know, URL to my product. And inside of here, where you know, we are discussing Upwork, you can basically come down here and you can see getting started with Upwork can be made way easier following steps of someone who has earned over ten thousand dollars as a freelancer you can get started here now when you said get started here you can simply just highlight or hyperlink this particular you know content and paste in your url click on enter and you're going to see that this particular uh wording has been underlined so we're going to build in it up a little so that people can actually see that yes this particular text actually you know has a link okay so that is basically what we are going to do and we can actually repeatedly do this and let's say we copy this right in here and we come down to the end and uh, we can add it after the conclusion again 
because that is exactly what you need to do. You can add it to the conclusion again, or here you can easily see oh that you're actually going to be recommending Upwork to anybody that's going to get started, you know, beyond other platforms. And in order for them to get started, it's good they have a coach and they can actually click on the link in order to get started with the program that you actually would refer them to. Okay. So once you have this done, you can simply go ahead and you know you publish this particular content. That is exactly what you want to do. And once you publish this particular content. You know, you're going to start seeing traction. Now, this is not something you do once and you go to bed and expect that you start getting traction. No, you actually have to consistently do this and do it over and over and over again. In order for it to start getting traction in the medium space first and as well getting, you know, people who are going to be your fans and they will actually start clicking on those links and buying the product they're actually selling. So this is the same method you can also replicate on your blog site. And with your blog, you can actually get your content to start ranking as far as you're optimizing this content in a way that, you know, to start showing up on Google first page. And with the traffic you get, you can start making a couple of affiliate sales and you can actually scale your income just doing this particular method. Yes, blogging has made people a lot of money and affiliate marketing is actually one of the ways to monetize your blog. And this is a simple method using AI to actually make that very possible. So if you love this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, smash the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos. With this guys, I'll be seeing you in my next video. Peace.